The arrival of the royal and her husband marked Princess Anne's first royal tour following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The pair were welcomed in Uganda by members from the various patronages and royal supporters took to Twitter with user at Insimbipati said, She is most welcome to Uganda. The Medical Research Council, MRC, and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, LSHTM, Uganda Research Unit was the first stop for the Royal to embark on a tour of the state-of-the-art research laboratory and clinical facilities at the site. LSHTM is a member institution of the University of London of which Princess Anne is the Chancellor. The UK in Uganda Twitter account said, We are excited to welcome Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal to Uganda. The Princess Royal visited at MRC underscore Uganda today to observe the work they are doing in health research for infectious and non-communicable diseases such as COVID-19 in Uganda, with support from at LSHTM. The Princess was shown more about how the unit works towards making its research more energy efficient and how the research contributes to developing key health policies to control infectious and non-communicable diseases. The Princess Royal was later invited to an audience with the President of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Mr. Yauri Museveni. The four-day visit has already seen some drama as the school the Royal and her husband were due to visit later in the trip suffered from a fire on Monday night which killed 11 pupils. According to the head teacher Francis Kinubi, the school had been warned of potential terror attacks ahead of the Royal visit on Friday. He said that the warnings came from eight officers from Buckingham Palace Royal Guard who visited the school twice to assess the security guidelines in place. Mr. Kinubi admitted that the school took the warnings lightly as they were instructed to limit the number of people at the school before the visit and warned them of sharing details of the event.
Bye.